That's my thoughts on low ballers. If you are one, stop being one. Hey, it's Jason Creel. I wanted to try to explain why you see some yards out there that look like Smurfs have attacked it. You know, you, know, you see what I'm talking about? You'll see a yard that's just straight up blue. I'm talking about like Boise State football plays on that Smurf turf and, and you say, why in the world is that yard blue? Well, let me explain. Uh, there's a product out there and this is just an example. There's other, but this is some blue turf marker and that's all it is is a uh, a, um, a blue product that a blue dye basically that you put in a spray tank when you're doing some kind of application on a yard to uh, tint the you know the water so that you can see it now why would you do this well let me start by saying I try not to to make people have smurf turf I, I don't I don't quite understand why somebody would smurf a yard but um, what I use it for is so I have a split tank on my um, on my weed control truck and if you put say on the split tank I have a 300 gallon side and a 100 gallon side so I may have two different combinations of products in on either side you know so um, and I can flip a valve on my tank and make it spray out of one tank or the other tank well you don't know which side if, if both tanks are the same color you don't know if you're spraying out of the, you know, when the hose empties all the water out of the hose and is actually spraying from the other tank. So you put a little blue dye on one side. Typically I do it on the small side. And that way when I flip the valve and switch from spraying out of the big tank to the small tank and I start spraying back into the big tank, I know when it starts turning the slightest tint of blue that now I am spraying out of the small tank and which is important if you have two different products in on the two different tanks and one product is for one type of grass and other products for another type of grass you don't want to get those confused and so you put just a little bit of blue dye but now like i said i'm talking about a little bit so that you can see the difference not that smurfs the lawn when somebody smurfs the lawn they put way too much in my opinion and uh and there's a reason you know maybe maybe it was on purpose and and the idea is you know, as I'm walking and spraying, I can tell where I've been because it's painted the ground blue. You know, to me, it's just unsightly to the customer. I wouldn't want my yard being smurfed. I know it goes away, but um, there is another product out there that, that's basically a green dye that can make, you know, sometimes if you grass goes dormant or is brown for some reason in the summer or dormant in the winter, you can spray this green dye and, and actually give it a little color and looks a lot more natural. So um, that's another option too. Uh, you may have multiple little handheld tanks or backpack sprayers and you could put a little of the blue or green dye in there to, to let you know one product um, from another. So if you knew that, hey, the one that has blue in it is product A, the one that's clear is product B. So, you know, it's basically an indicator. Um, you might also use it in a spot treating situation with a spray tank or a backpack uh, tank sprayer where you put the dye in there that you're just walking around spot treating particular weeds, maybe in the summertime. Well, if you, if the weed is turns blue and you spray it, you'll know that, hey, I've already hit that weed and, and the ones that aren't blue are the ones you still have left to go. So, you know, there's some purposes for it. Um, I try not to uh, smurf people's yards, and, but if you see one that is sure enough blue, then that is most likely what ha has happened unless we have genuinely been attacked by smurfs so hope that helps hey thanks for watching the video i wanted to make you aware of something that i have uh, been spending a lot of time on and have completed and it, there's a link in the description of the video but it is the lawn business master course what this comprises of is about 50 videos uh, that are not found on youtube as well as me being available as a personal coach um, a, a business coach for your lawn care business as well as my letter package which contains marketing materials contracts that sort of thing so i put all of this together in a package and you can check it out by the link in the description thanks